How do you auto move a sender to a label here in Gmail? To do that, we need to set up a filter. And to set up filters, one of the easiest ways is to click the show search options. We click on that. And what we're going to do is set up the from the sender that you want to send to a label. And so let's say I want to send this contact email, this person to a specific label. We're going to put in from and we're coming down here instead of search, we're going to click create filter. So it's going to create a filter. Anytime I get an email from that person, I'm going to apply a label. So we check mark apply label. We click here and then we're going to say a new label or we're going to choose the label. In this case, I don't really have a label. So I'm going to say new label. So we can set up a new label and I'm going to set this one up as contact. And then you can nest it under others. Like maybe this is under my business label. I want to put in the contact email, something like that. And so we can set up this new label, put it under business and then hit create. And so now it's going to apply that label there. Now, if you're trying to auto move this out of your inbox to only this label and you don't want to see it in your inbox, you can optionally come up here and click skip the inbox. So it will archive your message, which all that does is removes the inbox label, and then it will apply the label contact, for instance. And so if you want to see it in your inbox, don't click this one. You'll see it in your inbox and you'll see it in your label. But if you want to skip your inbox and you actually kind of want to auto move this sender's message to a specific label, then you can remove the inbox label by check marking this. And so if there are any uh, emails from that person, you will also see uh, that there are matching conversations from that sender. In this case, I don't have any, but you can apply the filter to existing emails as well if you check mark this box down here. So we're going to create this filter. So we've got the filter created. And if we want to see our labels, they should be down here on the left hand side and you know, you can see more labels here or less if you have a bunch of them. And you can see I have this business label and then I have this contact label and I don't have any messages yet. So we'll go back up to inbox. So if I receive a message from that contact email, it should skip the inbox and then go to that contact label. So over here, we should be on this other email. I'm going to compose a message to the Flippy Fin app Gmail. We're going to just write a test message here. I'm going to send that. So then if I go back over to my other Gmail, this is the one I have the filter set up. We should see a little one pop up down here next to contact and we shouldn't see it in the inbox ideally. And so there it is. It just popped in here. So nothing in my inbox because it went straight to removing the inbox label or archiving, but it did go to my label contact. So we click down here on contact and I have a new message from that email or that sender that we set up to auto move to this label. Your email is not just existing in this label, it will exist in the all mail section. So basically all mail shows every single email that you get even without um, labels. So if it doesn't have a label, it'll still be in the all mail section. You can see all the drafts, all the scheduled emails, just literally everything is in here but your inbox won't have it if you skip that. So that's how you can auto move a sender to a label in Gmail.